Hey everyone, M1 Shadow here. What you're looking at is a very delicious macaroni and cheese recipe like you've never had before. This is my taco mac and cheese, and today I'm going to show you how to make it, so let's get started. So the first thing we want to do is we have our uh, frying pan on uh, medium heat, and I've got one pound of ground beef. Um, it's 80-20 chuck, and we're going to get it on here, and we're going to brown it. And what you want to do is keep breaking it up like that. And again, I'm sure most of you know how to brown meat, obviously. But, you know, just in case you don't, I'll give you a quick crash, uh, crash course on it. So here we are about 8 to 10 minutes later. And you can see that our meat is browned. Uh, now we're going to, I also drain not all, but a little bit of the fat. So let's throw in our taco seasoning. You know, if you want to make your own blend, that's fine. Or... Uh, if you want to just use a pre-made one. And then I got about two-thirds a cup of water. We're going to put that in. And we're going to mix it around really good. And then what we're going to do is uh, let this simmer for about a good uh, maybe four or five minutes. And then we're going to put it aside and we're going to move on to the next step. So now let's talk about our cheese sauce. I've got half a stick of butter that's melted, and we're going to start off with about a quarter cup of some flour, and we're going to make ourselves a roux, and you want to stir this up really good. So here we are about a minute later, and I've got it as smooth as I want, so now we're going to go ahead and add our milk, and I've got three cups of warm milk. Uh, you want to add warm milk into it. Uh, just because it's it's a lot better, it'll blend in really good. And let's go ahead and mix that up and keep stirring it because you want to make sure you don't get any clumps or chunks in there. So after about a minute or two of stirring this, uh, we're now going to add our cheese in. Uh, what I have here is a three cheese blend. And, uh, you know, any taco blend will really do. I've got 12 ounces of cheese, but I'm only going to put about 8 ounces of it because we're going to use the rest after, and I'll show you once we get to that step. And of course, since it's going to be a taco cheese, we cannot leave out sour cream. So we're going to go ahead and throw about maybe 3 tablespoons worth of sour cream. And at this point, we're going to go ahead and we're going to lower, put this on to low and uh, stir this for about a few, maybe, maybe another minute or so, and then put it off to the side for a second. Now for the macaroni, we have our water boiling and we're going to throw some salt in there. Uh, you always want to salt the water, that helps. And we're now going to put in a pound of, uh, of our macaroni. And we're going to stir this and only cook it for about seven minutes. We're going to go ahead and prep our casserole dish. Um, well, in my case, I'm actually using a, uh, an aluminum pan. But let's go ahead and throw some olive oil in there. And go ahead and... That was probably a little too much. Use a, a slight bit less than that. And go ahead and get the in inside of it. And this is just to help um, excessive sticking. It's now time to start combining the ingredients. Uh, we have our macaroni that was already uh, rinsed and uh, drained. Now going to throw our cheese sauce in. So the first thing I want to do is get start stirring this up and get the cheese all in there. Next we're going to throw our taco meat in there. I've also got myself a 10 ounce can of uh, diced tomatoes with chilies in them. Uh, I drained it. Of course, if you want to dice your own uh, tomatoes and chilies, I mean, that's fine. But this is just for uh, to make it easier and quicker. And let's go ahead and mix everything up here. We're now going to take the remainder of that cheese and we're going to put it on top here. Next we have our breadcrumbs, and you want to get your uh, breadcrumbs on there. 
I'm not measuring, but this is my second handful. And that'll probably just about do it. And this last little touch is something I actually picked up on from Glenn the Bald Chef. So uh, shout out to the Bald Chef. He's got a really cool cooking channel. But I'm going to take some olive oil here and just splash it on the top a little bit. Just kind of helps with that browning. We're now going to pop it in the oven for 25 minutes on 400 degrees. And here we are 25 minutes later and our baked beef taco mac and cheese is done. This is so good. You really have to give this one a try. As always, I do want to thank you all for watching and have a good one.